Hi guys, I was planning to make a wedding cake today um, and I stepped into Sainsbury's and I found this box of beautiful edible flowers and I thought, oh, why don't I make an edible flower wedding cake? So I'm going to show you how to make one. The bottom tier is a lovely, refreshing lemon and coconut cake. Now the recipe for this can be found on my website. So I've got the cake on a cake stand um, and I'm just going to slice the top to get an even top. Wow. I'm going to put some buttercream. Now there is a really nice buttercream recipe on the channel. So I'm going to put some of this on top and then goes in another layer of lemon and coconut cake. I'm going to put some more buttercream on top. Just smooth it out so that all the loose cake is sealed in there. I'm going to get a little buttercream on my palette knife and then just start on one side and start filling the gaps. Very small movements. Um, and I'm just going to use one of these scrapers and I'm going to start from one side and just even it out. With a gentle hand, I'm just moving the table around and I'm scraping it off. I'm just going to add a bit of more icing where you can see that there's not enough cream and then use the scraper again and one last time just going to turn it around just move it inside get the edge a bit smoother I need it to look homemade made with love so I don't want to get exact smooth finish I just want it to look a bit rustic so this is now going to go in the fridge to chill for an hour or so at least um, so that we get the buttercream nice um, and set and then we can work a bit more on it. Second tier, I've got an 8 inch cake board and I have made four really thin layers of beautiful pistachio and rose cake. And I have got the same bowl of buttercream, just a tiny bit on top and the fourth layer of the cake. Just put some buttercream on top and then on the sides as well. Once again, use the magic scraper and just get it all nice and smooth. And then again, on the top, I'm gonna get this into the fridge as well and move on to the next tier. Back to tier number one, quickly. Um, I've got a really nice uh, serving plate and I'm gonna place the cake, which is now really nicely set on it. And I have got a really beautifully mustardy yellow color, royal icing in a piping bag here. And I'm going to make a nice pattern on it. So let's do this. Moving on to the next tier, I'm just going to add a bit of the same yellow as we've added to our first tier. And I'm just going to take little blobs and just put them on the base layer. And once I've done that, I'm going to use a scraper again and just run it through the cake. And once again, I'm just going to finish the top. This tear is ready to go on top of our first tear. And if you are making this for a wedding, which is in a few days, then you need to put dowels in, which will give us some support. But because I'm taking it to a wedding today, um, I'm just going to put it straight on to the cake so i'm just gonna drop it we've got the final tear which is a beautiful blueberry and almond cake and i've cut four pieces around six inch size so that it's a bit smaller than our second tear and i'm just going to mix this yellow icing into the butter icing I'm just swirling it around so it's not completely mixed place it on top spread as evenly as possible and our final layer of the cakes I'm just taking a barbecue skewer and gonna cut it into two and just put them in here so that it doesn't fall and you don't have to be scared just hide it with some icing that is gonna go on top of our second tier so I'll bring the cake back in god that's multitasking isn't it um, and I'm gonna pray and drop it in the middle now the lovely and fun bit so I'm gonna start from the top and go 
towards the bottom. So I've got some mixed colored flowers. I'm just gonna place them randomly and cover the top of the cake. So I'm gonna take a tiny bit of my leftover buttercream and I'm gonna cover the silver bit because um, I don't want it shining through. Cover the cream with all the beautiful flowers now. And I'm just going to do like a waterfall kind of effect. So I'm going to start with lots of flowers and then go down to a few. Moving on to the bottom tier, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some flowers and where you can see the pattern, I'm going to fill them with the flowers. And here is your Edible Flowers wedding cake with three different cake tiers. I think that looks really, really good. So do give this a go. And it doesn't have to be a wedding cake. It could be a barbecue cake. Why not? Let me know what you think. Uh, give us a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you next week. Mm -hmm.